Five things that usually happens when the universe wants to give you signs that you're supposed to be with someone. Guys, in this video, I'm gonna break down for you five simple signs that the universe is trying to speak to you or speak through you to show that whether you are single right now, you are supposed to be in a relationship, it's time. Or maybe there's a certain person and you're trying to figure out, is that really the person for me? So if you've got any questions like that, or maybe you're looking to attract your soulmate or your perfect partner, then this video is for you. We're gonna break it down in this video, but before we get into it, show real. Hit it. What's up guys, namaste, this is Sri Akashna here and in this video I'm gonna break down for you the five simple signs that the universe usually shows you or works through you to um, give you the signal that hey, uh, maybe it's time, maybe it's time to be in a relationship, okay? So we're gonna dive straight into it and the first sign is you see couples everywhere. Okay, so it's like when you, when you switch on TV and it's showing loving couple, when you're walking in the park, you see loving couple, when you go to the restaurant, you see loving couple, and everywhere around you, you see signs of couples. And always understand, because there are no accidents in this world, everything is a manifestation, everything is a co-creation between you and universe. So if you are seeing uh, a lot of couples around you, it's a sign that, hey, maybe it's time because maybe your vibrational frequency is of a perfect match of having a couple relationship. And so when you're, when you're in perfect match, then you start seeing because your outer world starts reflecting your inner world. Moving on to the second sign. The second sign is you feel so much love within you, so much gratitude, so much love. Now you're probably wondering, how is that a sign and how is it from the universe? Well, always understand that the way the universe communicates to you or through you is through energy in motion and you feel it through an emotion. So sometimes when you're just feeling so much love, you're feeling like, like everything's just so beautiful. Everything is so beautiful. Everything's so loving around you. You feel so much care and everything and joy and gratitude. When you feel that, right, it's a signal that the universe is putting this energy through you and always understand because you don't attract what you want. You attract what you are. If you're naturally love, then naturally what's coming towards you and what's going to manifest is going to be love and a relationship. The third thing is a very common one, and you probably had this before, where sometimes there's phases in your life where wherever you go, you start hearing romantic songs, love songs, where they're singing about romance and, and love, right? And it doesn't matter where you go, and sometimes it could be that you keep hearing the same song over and over again, and it could be you who thinks that, oh, everywhere's playing it. You probably go out with friends and you say, hey, everywhere's playing this right now, and your friend doesn't even know about it. Why? because your friend might not be tapped into that vibrational frequency, but you are. And what you focus on expands, where focus goes, energy flows and results show. So it's highly likely that you are tapped into that vibrational frequency, therefore love is coming your way. Sign number four is regular invites, okay? It may be a case that um, a lot of people are always asking you out these days. They're asking you for coffee. They're asking you to go to a restaurant. They're asking you to go out shopping. They're asking you to go to a party. They're asking you to go to, I don't know, there's a lot of invites happening. And the thing with this one is a kind of um, not so direct. And what I mean by that is sometimes you need to understand that the universe, right, will use a messenger to take you towards your soulmate or your perfect partner. So it could be the case that, okay, you're getting an invite from the same person who you are starting to date. Or it could be somebody who you have no interest whatsoever in. But these invites can be coming from all different angles uh, recently and you don't know why, right? And maybe you've been saying no, no, no. Every single time you've been saying no because you think that's not your perfect partner or that's not the soulmate you're looking for. But maybe by saying yes, that messenger will invite you somewhere and because you're in that place at the perfect timing, your 
perfect partner or your lover shows up in that space. And the final sign I love most is called the no matter what. Now you're probably wondering, what does that even mean? Okay. And these are situations, especially those who are just starting dating, right? And it's, it's, it's like, uh, we've got this right now inside our team, right? We have a, a, a team member, two team members who are like just starting dating. And the interesting thing is one is like a total introvert and one is a total extrovert. Now from the outset, you look at it and you think, no, these two people won't get on because they're totally different, right? But it's kind of like when you go to Thailand, when they say it's same, same, but different. <laughs> right. And what, what does that mean? It means that sometimes, even though it seems like it's on two sides of the world, when they come together, they find that peace and harmony within each other. Right. They are, manage to compromise each other. And what does this mean? It means that sometimes, even though there's uh, maybe certain small or big conflicts going on, or maybe sometimes there's some disagreements going on, you will find it's kind of the no matter what uh, that is that is the attitude within two people. It seems like, yeah, I guess this isn't quite right, but I just feel it. No matter what happens, it, it feels right. No matter this happens, no matter the fight, no matter the argument, no matter the conflict, no matter the difference, it just feels right. And usually that means there is some divine connection within these two people, right? It's the perfect sign that, hey, it doesn't matter if you are the extrovert or he is the introvert. It doesn't matter because maybe it's a sign just like for Polina, it's a sign for everybody in this moment. Do you get what I'm saying? So um, I think that sometimes love is one of those things, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta have courage. You gotta be daring. You gotta follow that feeling. You can't shy away from things. Don't be, don't be fearful of things, right? And don't be fearful of commitment, right? Just be decisive, go for it, live it. At, at the end of the day, we only live this physical reality once. We might as well have the most uh, enjoyable time, enjoy it. And we never know by enjoying ourselves where that may lead to. But we got to, instead of continuously thinking of the future, is it gonna work, is it not? Is it the perfect person or not? If you live in the moment, you make the perfect moments. Guess what? It's the perfect moments in the now that create the perfect future. So guys, if you did enjoy this video at all, please do hit the thumbs up, hit the like button. Also comment below. Let us know what you guys have experienced or anything you can relate to or what you guys may be going through. Also comment below. Let us know where you guys have tuned in from. That's always nice to know. And finally, if you're new to this channel and you haven't already, remember, remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it. That's a little bell sign, by the way, because this year I'm dedicated to making daily videos to hold you accountable to make it your best year yet. But for now, guys, I'm signing out. Namaste. Ciao.